Hello, welcome to another tier five building guide. Today, I am gonna show you how to do tier six infestation shotgun messiah factory. Let's start the quest. The first room of this factory will always be empty, so you can pass it to this exit door and go to the room inside. This room will have some mini trigger for zombie to fall down from the ceiling space. However, in my video, he kind of stuck that. Clear these zombies however you want. After you don't get out to this door, jump into this broken window. Walk through the hallway to the first trigger point. Once you reach this area, the gate will open automatically and the first trigger point spawn will run to you. Clear them, move onward, check the left room first and clear the whole room. After the room, you will need to clear the entire warehouse area of the first floor. There is a little switch here for you to open the exit door in case you got overwhelmed. Next is another trigger point. You will need to press this switch in order to open the gate and spawn another trigger zombie. Clear them however you want. Then we move into the area behind the gate. You should end up here. Clear the whole area. Next, move along this pathway. Reach this point, you will spawn another set of zombie, guarding the way to some secret loot. Clear the whole area. Afterward, walk through this door. There will be no zombie spawn in this room anymore. So, continue onward to this area. Clear this big room. Also, don't forget to clear this room with some loot in it. Next, move toward this door. There will be additional spawn in this gun range area. Usually, there were no zombies spawn in this area before, but now there will be a lot of bikers spawn in the area. You need to clear them because if you ignore them and go upstairs, these zombies will flank you from behind. So, clear them now. Then you move on to these two restroom area. Clear both of them. If you play in Fredersense on server, be really careful about the door and play in daytime because it is a really close space and you can easily wake up the whole area. After these two restroom, continue onward to cafeteria area. Clear the whole area. Then walk to these rappers and clear some zombies spawn ready for you from above. Move to the next floor. There will be zombies spawn a lot behind this room. Be careful, don't get overwhelmed. Clear the whole area, every red dot on your compass. Next is an office area. There is no more walking on the ledge, but you just need to jump into this broken window. Spawn people in the office area and then clear every one of them. After you done walk out this door, turn right, clear some zombie in the elevator shaft. Then move past this exit door. You will enter a new area, clear the whole area. Turn right, cross to another side. Clear some zombie. You should reach smelt room. Turn around, walk up the stair to turn off the fire hazard. Now you can go into the smelt room and kill all the zombies. Done. Walk out this wall door out of the smelt room. Immediately clear the room in front of you. Then turn left and move toward this exit door. Once you open the door, you will immediately spawn a set of zombies that trigger and go to you. Careful of them drop down to the first floor and clear the messy situation. That you might need to drop down to the first floor to clear them. This area also have sleeper zombies. So don't forget to clear all of them after you finish off the trigger spawn. For run and gun, you will wake everybody up so you can get overwhelmed. Be careful.
After you're done with this entire area, move toward here, cross to another side, end up at this room, look up, and clear zombie above. After you're done, move up the rubble and walk to another area. This area will be self-friendly, so clear all of them. Once you're done, move to this exit door, navigate to another door, end up in the rocker room, and out again at another exit door. You will need to circle around this big room through this catwalk and go into the room from another side. Keep continued along the way or jump like this if you're lazy like me. You should end up at this door. Open the door and clear zombies inside. You will spawn a sleeping zombie first. Clear off them. Once you're done, turn on this switch and spawn another set of trigger zombie. Clear them however you want. When you're done, go up the stair, turn, exit through this door, and then we will end up at this area. Similar to the previous version, you can shoot this block on the left side and kill some zombie in these two tanks. Now move toward to another area, jump into this server room and clear the whole room. Walk to this exit door. You can turn this switch on for fun for some explosion. I never actually test it, but I guess it can use to kill some zombie in the smell room that we already passed. But that's just my theory. Jump outside and kill some vulture in this area. Continue along the path and jump inside through here. Now you can run if you already kill some burning zombies in these two tanks. You should end up at the R&D room. Continue inside the R&D area. Clear all the zombies. They will be stealth friendly. Now move up this rubble to the next floor. Then don't forget to clear some zombie behind you in this last room. Afterward, go and clear zombie in the office area. Next will be another set of trigger spawn. That will spawn after you press the switch button, so be careful. You can run around or create a barrier to deal with this zombie. Up to you. Once you're done, now you can run through the hallway and up at this gate. Just open it, nothing will happen. Continue along the path I show in this video. You should end up outside. Clear the whole area. They will spawn as sleeper zombie, so you can still play the entire area. Once you're done, cross to another side via this door, and then clear another set of zombie. Move into this door, and then walk up the stair. You will find yourself outside again with another set of zombie. Clear the entire area. Once you're done, move into this door, then turn left and kill one zombie in this tank. Go up the stair, then kill some zombie. You should end up here. Similar to previous alpha, you can drop down this hatch, aggro everybody, and then having your fun killing them. For stealth build, if you walk down the ladder, you will switch from crouching to standing position. So you will most likely aggro all of them. If you want a full stealth, you can flank them by destroy the door and go down this ladder instead. This is flanking them from behind. Once you're done, go up to this ladder that you just used to flank. Now there will be two wall doors that lead to the same area. So choose either one of them. You should end up at this door, go in and Run around the catwalk, there will be one zombie spawn in that tank. You can just crouch when you're close to it. Clear the zombie. Now, good news is there's no more trigger zombie, but just a lot of them remaining for you to clear. The first batch will be on the helipad. Clear the helipad and the area nearby. Now walk to this door and go up the stair. There will be zombies spawn behind those blocks but they will not spawn just yet until you reach the top of the stair. Turn around and kill them. You should have 
three yellow dots remaining, indicating zombies are above you. Go up to the roof and you will spawn two set of zombies. Clear all the red dots on your compass. Once you're done, we will need to climb the last tower. Be a little bit careful at the top of the ladder. You should be able to play steadily in this area. Clear them all and congratulations, you just clear Shotgun Messiah Factory. Loot as much as you want and then you can drop down floor by floor to your vehicle. And that's it for Shotgun Messiah Factory. The number of trigger spawn is not as much as Shamwe Factory, but the amount of each spawns are a lot. So be careful. That's it for today. See you in the next video, Pops and Peel Factory. Bye bye.